Welcome to Driven Plus guys, I'm Max Atavani and spring is in full swing today. Well it was to about five minutes ago and now the sun's gone back in. Welcome to the UK, I've got the shorts on for the first time in a while, I've got the Driven Plus t-shirt on, what do you think? Looks good doesn't it? Now if you're European, if I mention to you the word camper, what's the first image that comes to your head? It's a Volkswagen and if you're American, it's a seven bedroom house on wheels. Anyway, today I'm reviewing this, the Volkswagen California Ocean, and we're gonna find out if it's worth its 85,000 pound price tag. Now, VW have been making their campers for over 60 years, so they do know how to put one together. Now, let's get into the details of this model here. It's a T6.1, so it's the latest generation. Now, it's a facelifted version, and this facelift happened in 2019. Now, let's get into all the hidden features that are inside the camper, because the most experience you can have with one of these is sitting around and chilling, drinking wine at night, at whatever view you want to look at. So, let's go have a look. Now there is one way to distinguish a proper California as towards uh, one that's been done up and that's with this slider door here. They're located on the driver's side. That's because VW haven't transferred basically what they've done. They've manufactured all the furniture to fit on left-hand drive cars and they haven't been bothered to change it all around to fit on the right-hand drive cars. So UK passengers, you're at more risk of exiting into traffic. But for me, it's not much of an issue, is it? Let's have a look inside. Right, coming in, let's go and get this bed down. Right, so also inside the VW California, let's start off with the two-person bench. And yes, you guessed correctly. It does slide all the way forward, and it turns into a double bed. Give me a minute. Oh. Bring these headrests down. In between the seat belts there, there's a little rope you pull. And that bit will go down and at the back there you've got an additional kind of frame for your mattress topper here to lie down and it turns into a nice big double bed right so with that bed now put away there is another bed and that's up there but guess what because this is the range topping ocean model you can electronically lift the roof come over and I'll show you how it's done. Now, to raise the roof, it's all controlled via this electronic screen here, which controls basically the brains of the California. But before I talk you through this, let me make myself a little bit more comfortable. Oh, look at that. There we are. A bit better, isn't it? Right, so I can open the roof. Uh, I'll take you through all the other features on this shortly, so stay with us. So all I've got to do, yes, yeah, so there's nothing above the roof. Hey, hey, hey. Makes a funny noise. Wait for this. There we are. And now you can push this up so it can stand all the way up. And if we bring it down, I'll see you up there now. And here it is. Here's that other bed I was talking about before. This camper will sleep up to four people depending how heavy you are. This bed will only hold 200 kilograms of people. So it depends how much you and your partner weigh. Anyway, behind me is a window with a fly net so you can let some light and air in. And on these buttons here, you can control your lights for that side and your light switch for that side. Let's try and get in. Right, let's attempt to get up there. Now, before I do, if you have a look under the mattress here, there's a load of like these spring things, obviously for comfort of the mattress, so I'm expecting it to be really comfortable. Let's have a go. Oh. 
<laughs> oh. Well, they don't make that easy, do they? Well, whilst I'm here, I can see a 12 volt socket. Now let's lie down, see if it's any comfortable. Right, so here we are. Never thought I'd be reviewing a bed on a car channel, but here we are. It's actually really comfortable. Yes, I would be lying the opposite way around. Feet would be down there, but we're just doing it for film purposes. I'm pretty happy with that. Loads of space for two people, but you'd have to be cuddling. So that isn't a problem. Right, so now that we're done up there, we're now going to close the roof. Right, so coming back on this panel, now the roof is back down. Let's go through what features it's got. Yeah. So here it'll tell you how much water it's got, how much grey water, how much charge the battery's got left in it. So we've got 58 hours and 50 minutes, so we're fine there. Um, you can control your whether you want to switch your refrigerator on. Um, your pop-up roof. Auxiliary heater has got three zone, so you can have different uh, temperatures in the car. Uh, as we go back, camping, what's this for here? Oh yeah, so you can control all your lights on the exterior lights, and you can also um, know what level you're at. So say, this is really useful when you're coming up to camping and you want a flat spot. Well, you just put this tool on and you can see if the car's either flat or not. Um, what's the level? Uh, oh yeah, there's one. The, the car's got an alarm clock, so you don't have to use your phone. Um, and all the interior lights as well. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool system to have there, isn't it? Yeah, very cool though. Let's go have a look at that refrigerator. Right, here's the fridge. Click of a button. Well, what have we got in here? Crack open, record one with the lads. Oh. And a pack of HP sauce. Right, so moving on, you've got your hobs, twin hobs. Um, and you've also got your sink. Let's turn this boy on. Oh. <laughs> it's all coming in. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let it go, bring it back down. You've got some cupboard space there for your snacks and all your food. And if you want to eat all your snacks and your food, you've got to bring your table out which is like so, bring it all the way up, lift your table down, extend this black thing somehow. Oh, there it is. Jobs are good. So you've got some coat hangers there to bring the, the windows open, just like so. Ooh, and then you've got some blinds to obviously darken the cabin at night. And this is the core, but here, look at this. This is a blind, but you've got all your little extra cupboard space, all your lights and then Bit of extra space there. You can do your teeth in the morning or your hair with the mirror there. Yeah, looks all right. Um, and here's the funny bit. Now, outside dining, take a look at this. Right, so say you fancy eating outside because it's lovely weather. You have to shut the door, get inside, oh, press this, take the table out of the door, and then open the door to go and sit outside. Yeah, that's like so. Oh, there. There, and there. Sure, there's one thing missing. Chairs, chairs, come with me, come on. Open this massive tailgate. Oh, and look here, what do we have here? A bag with your chair. So onto the rear, there's a little bit of boot space. It goes deeper than what you think, so you can fit a few suitcases in there. Now, looking in here, let's get optional extra on the ocean. Water coming out everywhere. Oh, right, let's plug this thing in, turn it on. Look at that, little pet shower, or if you want to wash any muddy uh, shoes down, you can do so, whilst it's absolutely lashing down under this tailgate which covers you pretty good. Right, so let me hear this right. You get a fridge, two hobs, a sink, the roof opens electronically, you get two auxiliary batteries, an auxiliary heater, and a toilet, right? No, for 85,000 pounds, you do not get a toilet 
as standard or it's not even an optional extra on the California. If you need a toilet, you must buy one like this and take it with you. Where if you don't buy one of these, factor in toilet stops for when you're going away. I thought I'd never have to say that in a sentence ever. So let's have a look in here. You get a storage bin, drawer. So I think I've pretty much covered everything in the back here. So let's go into the cockpit. Let's see what driving features and luxury features you have in there. Come on in. Right, so it's a nice place to be. It's classic VW, a few hard plastics, but it's finished ever so nicely. Clear upgrade from a transporter. Uh, the door bins are absolutely massive. You can fit a few, well, loads of things in there. You've got three different types of storage units there. Um, onto the uh, the windscreen, and you've got some more uh, blinds, again, for blocking out the sunlight. And I've just put the driver side like so. And you've got some, obviously, for the passenger side as well. So it is really luxurious in here, I must admit. The seats are really comfortable. Now, due to this being the Ocean model, you do get the digital cockpit as standard, which for me, having the sat-nav on there is better than having it on the infotainment system. Whilst we're on the topic of the infotainment system, it has an 8.5 inch uh, dry, uh, display as standard. Um, on the, the coast and the beach models, it's a 6.5 inch. So you get the optional extra as standard on the ocean, but you can upgrade to a 9.5 inch, I believe. But for me, I'm happy with how this works. It's clear, it's crisp. You get Apple CarPlay as standard and Android Auto. So yeah. I'm happy with all the technology around here. On to the, uh, the climate control, it's two zone, uh, heated seats. Um, but pretty much it's all pretty standard nowadays though, isn't it? Um, it's got park assist that will park for you and put it into reverse. And it's got a park in uh, a reversing camera. So yeah, technology wise, I'm happy. Right, so onto the side, you've got a massive awn in there. So that's really uh, useful for when uh, well, when you're just sitting outside really and it's sunny or raining of course especially with being in the uk now before i shut the door down here something small but it's always the the little details which does it for me you've got the california badge engraved with a little ambient lighting now at night that looks absolutely great now as i shut the door they are soft close as you can see now <laughs> there's an optional extra on these to electronically open and close them but there are five grand options so <laughs> hmm i don't know about that one right so let's get out on the road because you're going to be spending a lot of time in the driver's seat because for us brits we like to hop across the channel don't we and go into france or spain or wherever you want to go italy so one priority for the california is it's got to be comfortable and it is the seats are really comfortable you do really sit into them it's a nice high up position visibility is good now in terms of looking outside through the rear view mirror don't expect much because all the cupboards and all the headrests they do block a lot of visibility there whereas you'll just use your ring mirrors and the windows are absolutely massive to look through so you're not going to have any problems there So the engine, it's a two litre diesel engine, uh, produces 204 horsepower and it's a four motion. Yeah, that's quite rare actually for one of these because they don't do the four motions anymore. So uh, this is, if you're gonna get a California four motion, now first of all, they hold the value very well anyway. So if it's a four motion model, well, they might even increase in value. But in terms of the gearbox, yes, DSG, power up on the foot down a little bit here takes a while to kick down and kick in but yeah nice uh, delivery of power nice and linear a little bit loud but <laughs> you're not going to be driving the car whilst you're sleeping in your bed in the back are you so that bit doesn't really make matter handling wise feels more like a car than, than a van to be honest it's easy to drive and this is where the california comes into its own this is why they're so expensive and this is why they're so sought after. You can use it as your daily car. You can drive it to work and you can take it on holiday. That's why they're so good. And that's why probably they're so sought after. That's why they're so expensive. It really, really does make sense. I do like it, really comfortable. Soaks up the bumps really well. In terms of making 
any noise from any creaks or anything rattling about. The only thing that does make a noise is that table. Just make sure it's tucked away correctly, otherwise it will flap and it does annoy you a little bit, but once you've got once you've addressed that situation, everything's sound. It's really solid, everything's put together really well. Now I think we've uh, we've got everything we can on the VW California today. The only thing we haven't done is, uh, is sleep in it, and I wouldn't mind doing that bit. But anyway, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, next week we've got a bit of a special one-off video on the, uh, the BMW E39 M5, so I'm super excited to, to show that to you guys. So uh, stay tuned. See you next week. Thank you.